What's up, YouTube fam? Old Proghead Tom here, back with another reaction. Back to some more Flower Kings tonight. Flower Kings, uh, I have really enjoyed so far, led by the great Warren A. Stolt. And uh, the song we are going to do tonight is called Tower One. Tower One off of their 2013 album, Desolation Rose. So uh, Tower One is the song. And uh, we're jumping right at and into that shortly. First of all, cheers, as always. In my glass. Got a little Jefferson's Reserve, Pritchard Hill. Jefferson's Reserve, Pritchard Hill. So that is a um, Cabernet cask finished. So Cabernet wine casks that is finished in. It's a bourbon finished in Cabernet casks. And uh, that was one of my recent birthday gifts, uh, as well as some others. But... Um, so enjoying that one. So uh, first couple of offerings I've had from Jefferson's Reserve, but uh, enjoying those. So uh, check out some Jefferson's Reserve Preacher Hill. All right, please like the video. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and uh, been uh, gaining subscribers um, at a decent pace. So I appreciate that very much. All of you who have jumped on board, I appreciate it. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please do that. And comment down below anything else that I need to check out from Flower Kings uh, or other similar bands. Uh, all right, so uh, Flower Kings, Tower One. Let's jump right into it, see what we think. She'll walk me slowly through burdens. Interesting start. She'll be my shelter. No sign of Really interesting chord progressions there, really. So we all 
difficult change there. Bass has been great throughout this, by the way. Roy ain't killing it on the guitar. Building discordant part. Not really part, more like a couple of phrases.
jump fills all over. Is that... goes uh, directly into the next piece but uh, man that was good um not the not the tons of changes but some of the changes in there were cool but the musicianship throughout that was fantastic um the bass as i mentioned was great Roy's big guitar solo there towards the end and there was something there at the end that i noticed that i don't i'm not sure if i'm right or not but i have to go back and listen again but it seemed like the bassist and, and i'm not sure his name in this band let me know the bassist's name but um you know he was killing it throughout but it seemed at the end there that last third or, or quarter of the song it seems like he transitioned from a regular bass to bass pedals um a very I, I, attuned to those bass pedal sounds because mike rutherford of genesis was famous for one of the pioneers of using the moog bass pedals um but it seemed it, maybe even both maybe he was using some of the bass pedals combined with the the the, the actual bass uh, you know, six string bass as well, or five string, four string bass as well, uh, or five string or six string. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, yeah, just a little note there. I'm just wondering what uh, instrumentation there and the bass parts he was using. But it seemed like uh, definitely their pedals there at the end and maybe a combination. But let me know if you know. Uh, comment down below again. Like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, good stuff from uh, Flower Kings. I like that one a lot. Um, again, uh, you, you know, a little bit on the sh not. You know, 13, almost 14 minutes is not short, but uh, but not an epic long piece with tons of changes. But that was very solid. I like that. Uh, drumming, the drummer killed it with the fills there towards the end. Just fantastic. Just good stuff. Recommend more from Flower Kings that I need to check out. So, all right, great. Thanks, for everybody, stopping by. Appreciate it. And as always, big shout out to active military veterans and first responders. Thank you all for everything you do. We appreciate your service. Thank you all so much. It means a lot to us. And uh, always wrap it up saying that the only rule that you need is the golden rule. So live by that, everybody. Peace. We'll see you next time.